Ah, my sister, that's it, my sis. Yeah, I'll blame it on my sis. I'll say that Nancy's soda pop was hard to hold. She let it drop and use my paper as a mop. That ought to get me out of this. Yeah, I'll blame it on my sis. Maybe, maybe, maybe my ma. Yeah, that's it, my ma. I'll blame it on my ma. I'll say she washed my pair of jeans. My book report was in those jeans, and it got washed to smithereens. A bigger mess you never saw. Yeah, I'll blame it on my ma. That's what I'll tell my teacher. But can I look her in the eye? Oh, oh why didn't I do my homework? What's that you're trying to say? Did this do tomorrow, not today? Whew, that was close. Tonight I'll get it done for sure. Gorilla! Gorilla! I have had it with you and that, that machine! That mechanical smoke monster is ruining my garden. My carnations are brown. And your roses are green. You're filled with envy over my mean, bad machine. <laughs> Why don't you stop waxing poetic and try to fix that thing? Hmm. Gee, it's a cold, lonely life being a hot rider. Oh, just wait until I find that ape. I am going to give him a piece of my mind. Good idea, oh, good piece. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was all low-grade material. <laughs> Nothing is as low-grade as you, you silly, polluting monkey. Well. Ever since you bought that awful contraption, my eyes have been stinging me like crazy. Well, gee, knack knack. Why don't you adjust your contacts? <laughs> oh, well, knock knock doesn't wear contacts. Yeah, sure. Of course I don't. Right. It's the smoke from that infernal machine, that's uh, all. Uh, right. <laughs> and not only is it hurting her eyes, but it's making me ganoshous. That ganoxic <laughs> smell put forth from that ganag of a vehicle is incredible. Ganasty gorilla. You can say that again. But no, I can't. I'm too ganoshious. Hey, Gary! <laughs> How's it going? How's it going, friend? Feels like any second now. And a... Oh, oh, and a special good morning to you, Knock Knock. Oh, yeah? What's so good about it? <laughs> <coughs> hey, guys, don't you say hello to me? <laughs> Can you hear something? No, nope, not me. Me either. Well, I thought I heard something. With all this smoke, I can't see if anyone's there. <laughs> Speaking of smoke, this motorcycle of Gorilla's is getting out of hand. I'll say. You know what gets me? Is that Gorilla sees how much the smoke fumes is bothering everybody, mm -hmm. and he refuses to do anything about it. Boy, you know, I never would have figured Gorilla to be that kind of guy. What kind of guy? Oh, you know the way some selfish people are. They don't care about anything. Listen, I'll tell you all about it. Some people don't seem to care Don't seem to care The way they pile up the air It doesn't seem quite fair But some people don't seem to care Some people don't stop and think Don't stop and think About the water we drink All our resources are shrinking But people can be so thinking How can people be so blind? Blind to what they're doing, to what nature designed. How can people be so small? Some people just don't care at all. Some people, they are to wear, are to wear. There are no resources to spare. We all must do our share. But some people are not aware. Some people, they need to be told, need to be told.
Oh, you guys, you're such a bunch of spoiled sports. <laughs> I finally get something I like to ride on, and everybody jumps all over me. So the bike gives off that teensy weensy bit of smoke. <laughs> Is a little discomfort such so much to, to put up with for a friend? If you were really such a good friend, you'd have that bike fixed. Well, I only got one thing left to say. <laughs> I think he could see. Come on, guys, let's check it out. Now, Garrido, you take real good care of yourself now, okay? Yeah, and stay in bed like the doctor said. And no more cycle riding. Okay, bye now. Take care, Garrido. See, see your friend, Roy and Danny. Boy, Garrido, you really gave us quite a scare, you know. I'm really glad you're all right, though. Yeah, the doc says I'm lucky. Yeah. But my motorbike may not last the night. Ah, uh, well, you know, actually, I, I took a look at it, and with a little fixing up, it's gonna be all right. You, you, you mean it? Yep, yep. Um, you're gonna need a new tailpipe, though. Uh, but that'll take care of the smoke and all the toxic fumes that your bike was giving off. Oh, a new exhaust pipe. Mm -hmm. But but that's gonna cost big bucks. Garrett Oh, okay, okay. Well, yeah. would you order one for me, Bex? Sure, I'll even help you install it. Thanks, Bex. Oh, anything for you, pal. You know, for a guy who's a clown, you're all right. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, you I just get well. Buddy. Oh, I had to say. How are ya? Uh -huh. Look, I brought you some flowers to make oh. you feel better. Oh. Gee, thanks, Edison. That's nice of you. Hey, that's great. Your garden must be in great shape, huh? My garden? Gorilla, uh -huh. I had to buy these flowers at a florist. My oh. garden is a wreck. After what your motorcycle did, it's gonna take weeks for it to recover. Mm. Whoops. Well, Gorilla has promised to have a new exhaust pipe installed, so your garden will be safe. Oh. Yeah, and I'll help you get it all back in order, Edison. Mm -hmm. oh, Promise. That's sweet of you, Gorilla. But the important thing is that you get well now. All right. Hey, Gorilla, is there anything we can get for you? Mm. Thanks, Bank. Well, now that you mention it, a, a banana shake would, would sure hit the spot. Oh, you know, and, and I'd also that. like some, some banana cake and some banana chips and another pillow or, or a, a television guide or something like that. Huh? I better get a paper and pencil and write this down. Yeah. Yeah. And, and maybe maybe uh, two bananas or something like that would hit the spot, too. Two bananas? You know? Yeah, two extra bananas. With the shake? Yeah. All right. And the, and the chips. Yeah. Okay. You rest. Okay. Hurry up. Oh, Roy. Yes? What's on the movie menu today? How do you feel about spiders? Well, let's put it this way. If I'd been Little Miss Muffet, I would have put down those curds and ways and eaten the spider instead. Oh, you probably would have frightened the spider away. Just show the movie, Roy. Just watch this. Can you do that? Woodpeckers don't knit, knit wit. Yeah, yeah. 
for that. Well, clear the cobwebs out of your head, Knock Knock. The spider will return in a little while. Oh, good, good, good. Knock Knock. Who's there? Nobody. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the time. Wow. You know, it's time for my 10 o'clock banana break. Yeah. Got the pan up here. Wow, how about this little cutie? Isn't that nice? Yeah. yeah. Nothing like a little mid-morning fruit break, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, I always say, a banana a day keeps the... Uh, 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 keep, keeps the... Well, it does the job, yeah. Boy, this looks like it's gonna be a great one. Yeah, I just know it. <laughs> Get that. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh! oh! <laughs> Snakes! <laughs> oh, I got you, Gorilla. Oh, that was a good one. Oh. Knock, knock, you turkey. Oh, that you did really that. Great. You think that was funny? <laughs> you scaring people like that? Wait till I get a hold of you. You'll be sorry in the next 10 trillion years. Gorilla, 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 what is all the racket? What's mm. happening? That old buzzer just pulled a practical joke on me, Edison. She did? What did she do? Well, she slipped me a loaded banana. Oh, <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> Boy, she's really gonna be sorry she started messing with me. Oh, come on, Gorilla, what are you gonna do? Oh, I'll fix her. I'll, I'll fill her bird bath with crazy glue. I'll grease her perch. I'll, I'll put, I'll put peppercorns in her bird seeds. Oh, I'll, I'll... Come on, Riddle, if you'll start getting her, and then oh. she'll get you, yeah. then you'll get back at her, and then she'll get back at you, and, you know, pretty soon you're gonna start a great big feud like, like the Hatfields and the McCoys. <laughs> Who are they? Well... That was two families that used to live in the Ozark Mountains, and they started a feud that lasted a hundred years. Well, that won't happen to me and Knock Knock, I can tell you oh, that. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm not giving up that easily. I'll get that needle-nosed vulture if it's the last thing I do. Well, I tell you, some people, that buzzard, that turkey, that hawk, I'll tell you something. <laughs> It's tumby time, tumby time. Oh, I love a beautiful bath. I have put in the bath boil, I have put in the bubble bath, and I am ready to scrub my gorgeous bod. But first, I think I had better test the temperature. <laughs> ah! 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 Oh, what was that? Piranhas! Alligators! I'm being eaten alive! Help! 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 Knock. You were so funny when the lizard oh. bit you. Lizards? Lizards? That's what it was? Wait a minute. How did you know that there were lizards in my bath, M.T.? Oh, elementary dear Knock Knock. I saw Griddle put them oh. in. In fact, 
I was the one who told him where to find the lizard. Well, why didn't you tell me, you rotten person? What? What kind of bad guy would I be if I ruined a practical joke? Because I love a practical joke. Oh, a practical joke. Like turning on the water hose and watching you soak. Like lacing shoes together while you're taking a nap. Like squirting shaving cream inside the top of your hat. I love a practical joke. I'm the kind of a guy. Try looking through my telescope. It gives a black eye. My triple glass is always good for hardy ha ha's. I'm sure to get a bang from my exploding cigar. I'm a jokester. A trickster, a wit. Invite me to your party and the party will be a hit. I love a practical joke, all oh, practical jokes. From a dime a dozen prank to an elaborate hoax. I love every kind of joke from A right through to Z. The only kind of joke I hate, the only kind of joke I hate, the only kind of joke I hate is the joke that's played on me. Don't dare play a practical joke on MT! <laughs> Have a nice day. Oh, good night, Griddle. Good night, Edison. Boy, I guess it's time to turn in. Oh, well. <laughs> when is... shells in your bed? Oh, yeah, well, what do you call these? Gorilla, I, I didn't. Oh, oh Gorilla, oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. You were so funny. Oh, I got you, monkey. I got you good that time. Oh, oh, no, no, no. You're going to sleep in get peanut you for shells this. for a week. You crazy oh, bird. Ah, oh, you... Ah, ah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Yes, indeed. I can't wait till Knock Knock comes home and sees this. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna flip her feathers. Listen, this will get her out of my hair once and for all. Hey, Gorilla. Huh? Have you seen Knock Knock? No, but I hope she shows up soon. Hey. What? What's all this? Well, you might say it's a little repayment for about 15 pounds of peanut shells. Mm. Have you two seen Knock Knock anywhere? No. No. Uh, we can't find her. Yeah, why is her house boarded up? <laughs> The riddle did it. Yeah. Well, is this part of the practical joke war you two have been having? Oh, Edison's been telling us all about it. Oh, well, yeah. Well, you know, practical jokes can get out of hand. Hey, are you sure Knock Knock isn't in there? Don't you think we would have heard her yelling if she was? Hey. What? I just remembered. What? Knock Knock has claustrophobia. She may have fainted. And mm -hmm. people with claustrophobia can't be closed yeah. in anywhere. Yeah, let's get, get, her get out of here. Get... Come on. Come on. Where? Knock, knock. Is she in there? Knock. Oh, my. Oh. Oh, knock. Well, now, now you see what happens when practical jokes get out of hand. I hope you're satisfied. How's she doing? She How's seems to be on? coming around. Knock, knock. What happened? Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh. All, all I remember is I lay down to take a nap and... When I woke up, it was all dark and closed oh, in. Yeah. I must have fainted. No. Nope. What happened? Well, Gorilla was playing one of his practical jokes on you, and he boarded up your front door. Oh, why, that big ape! He's been terrible to me all day with his jokes. Mm. Uh, did you hear about what he did with the lizards in my bathtub? Uh, yeah, Addison told us. Yeah, we also heard that it was your idea starting the practical joking in the first place. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah, well uh, I heard that same rumor myself sometimes. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, hello, everybody. Oh. Uh, I came over to tell Knock Knock that I am sorry for, for boarding up her front door and, and giving her an attack of claustrophobia. And, and I, I want you all to know this. What a real classy guy I am to say that. And to show you what a real solid dude I am, I even got knock knock 
a please forgive me present. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, oh that's now. nice. Oh, just when I did this oh, kind of thing, we just oh, and they were so oh, messy. So sweet. You know. oh. Yeah. oh, here, is it? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Roy. <laughs> oh, thank you, Griddle. Griddle, let's make a truce right now. Okay. No more practical jokes. Well, I'll shake on that. Oh. And no more practical jokes, okay? Yes, yes. There you go. Oh, All right. Oh, that's okay. the way it's right right on. Okay. Hey, everybody, how about a coaster ride? Ready? Oh, what a good one. Where are you going to take this? Okay, okay, but first, I thought everybody might like a little peanut brittle. Peanut yeah. brittle! Yeah. Touchy, touchy. I'm ready for those spiders. Cobwebs all gone, sleepyhead? Ah, bring on those succulent little spinners. Here you go, watch this. What sports do woodpeckers like? Hockey and baseball. Why hockey and baseball? Hockey sticks and baseball bats have the highest quality wood. change your image. Cheap. Cheap. Yeah. Well, look, you're Mark Hamill, right? That's what they say. Yeah. Yeah, everybody thinks of you as Luke Skywalker, commander of the Rebel Alliance in Star Wars and the Empire Strikes Back, right? I suppose that's true. Ah, so your image isn't Mark Hamill at all. It's Luke Skywalker, and I can change all of that for you. Really? Yeah. An image is what people think you are. 
I can turn you into anything you want to be. Well, have you had any, any experience, you know, <clears throat> changing images? Are you kidding? Well, name one image you've changed. Mickey Mouse. You changed Mickey Mouse's image? Yeah, yeah. Listen, when he started out, he was a sniveling little rodent, hooked on cheese, terrified of cats. Today, he runs a movie company and two amusement parks. Doesn't even act anymore. He's a business tycoon. Gee, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, listen, what sort of image do you think would be good for me? Well, let's check in the cards. Okay. Okay. Chanel, director. Nah. Ah, hey, here's a good one. What? How would you like to be a comedian? Comedian? Yeah, listen, here. Read this out loud. Okay. <clears throat> Want to hear a joke about it? No, 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 no. Out loud. <clears throat> Get into it. Come on. Motivation. <clears throat> Get it out. Hey, you want to hear a joke about a chocolate pie? It's rich. <laughs> uh, there are two things I can't eat for dinner. Breakfast and lunch. <laughs> Don't stop me if you've heard this one. I want to hear it again. <laughs> oh. I wonder if it hurts to crack a joke. <laughs> no? I don't think these jokes would cheer up a laughing hyena. Well, listen, the material is okay. You're, you're just not a natural-born comic. That's what it is. Well, what else have you got in there? Well, let's see. <gasps> yeah, that's a good one. How would you like to be a cowboy? That, that's a great image. Cowboy? Here's a card. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, listen, I got some motivation for you, okay? Okay. Put it up here. Put that on for size. Oh, great. Isn't okay. That nice? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I'll be a hornswoggled coyote if you're not a side-winding, yellow-bellied, lily-livered cayuse of a cattle-rustling barn burner. What do you think? Well, oh, keep the rocket ship running, kid. Well, hey. you know, maybe I should be a serious actor. Well, you're already a serious actor. What are you talking about, No, Mark? but I, I, I mean without the spaceship, you know? Oh, you want to be the next Cary Grant, huh? Well, I never thought about that. Well, think about it. You already got the chin for it. Hmm. Well, what about some Shakespeare, you know? To be or not to be. The riddle. Huh? How about if I just settle on being myself and that way... Any image people want to give me, it's up to them. What a great idea. There was only one, one more card in, in here anyway, you know? Oh, really? What was the card? Well, let me see now. What did it say? It said, uh, would you like to be thought of as a, a matter baby? Well, what's a matter baby? Well, give me that line just one more time. What's a matter baby? Nothing, baby. What's the matter with you? <laughs> You're not a well gorilla. Could become a comedian with that, huh? <laughs> well, I think we accomplished, accomplished a lot, you know? Long sessions make me hungry. Oh, I know that. How'd you know? Well, you gotta be hungry. You're out to lunch. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> hey, Mark! What do you mean by that? Get on board on the Great Space Coaster. We'll explore a common ride and a fantasy to a place where dreams fly fast and free. With new friends and new things to see. We'll spin you through the galaxy on the Great Space Coaster. Oh, on the Great Space Coaster. Off we go. Thank you.